Welcome to this short screencast on the Fabricate console. We're going to look at how the navigation works in this screencast. So let's start off by picking a project we're going to work within. So let's go in the default project. So notice at the top in the breadcrumbs in the projects we're in the default project. Now we get to see all of the different environments, uh, all of the different apps we're working on or microservices we're working on. So we can see in the deployment section, we can see the apps here, and we can see the environments across here. So we have a testing environment, staging and production. We can also see at a glance which version is running uh, for each app in each environment. So we can see 101 is running in testing, staging and production for the Camely app. And then for the MicroFoo, uh, we're not running that in testing, but we are running it in staging and production. These green buttons indicate how many pods are running in each environment. So we can one click to view the pods. So let's look at the pods in staging. Uh, those are the staging pods. That's cool. Um, so we can look at the zoom into the pods. We can also uh, execute any of the services. So let's test out the staging service for uh, MicroFoo. That's cool. And let's look at the production service. And that gives us the same answer, which is good because the same version of the pod is running in both these environments. So at a glance, we can look at a project level view of the deployments. We can see all the apps, all the versions. We can watch rolling upgrades happen across all of our apps. And we can delve into the detail of any specific replication controller. For example, let's look at this replication controller for staging. And there we go. Whenever we zoom in, we see we're still in the default project and we're looking at the, st the staging environment. Now we're in the staging environment, we can then look at the controllers for the staging environment or the pods for the staging environment or the Kubernetes services and so forth. And then at any point in time, we can go back to the project level. So here's the project level overview looking across the environment for each app. We also get usage donuts and who doesn't like a donut? Um, so we can see, for example, Camely is using 75% of the pods um, in the production environment, things are pretty even in the staging environment, and Camely is totally uh, uh, killing it in the testing environment using all of the pods, which is one. Then across all the environments, we can see production is using most of the uh, most of the uh, pods, which is a, a good thing. So from one kind of page, we can see what's kind of going on for our apps or microservices and across our environments. And we can zoom into the environments, but we can also zoom into the app. So let's zoom in. If I just want to look at the Camely app, now we get the app dashboard. So this is the same kind of dashboard, but it's looking at one application at a time. Now, a lot of the time, you're going to work on just one microservice or one application. So you probably find yourself in the app dashboard much more than the project dashboard. And so here we're looking at just our Camely apps deployments across the environments here. And we can see which build number created them, and we can see which commit ID there are, and we can see there's three pods over here in production and only one there and so forth. Also, we can see the pipelines, and we can see the logs of the build, and we can dive into that and so forth. Plus, we can see the commits. So we can navigate between our apps quickly using the Apps tab. So we can quickly go from app to app. Or we can go back to the project dashboard and look at our project in whole. Uh, and then from here, navigate into either the replication controllers or pods on a specific environment. Like Let's look at the production pods. Um, or we can go right back to the project overview again. Um, so we can zoom into apps, zoom into environments, zoom into replication controllers, pods, um, or look at the detail of the builds. And then we can invoke the services. Uh, thanks for watching.